you guys were able to essentially hack what's known as a smart gun. Can you explain to me what a smart gun is? So in this case, it's a rifle uh, that has a scope, and inside the scope is a tiny computer. So the computer helps with all the calculations for ballistics so that when you aim at a target and then fire, the computer inside the scope does all the math to make sure that you don't miss your shot. This is a tracking point rifle, correct? Yeah, it's a tracking point TP750, and it also has a wireless network that allows you to connect uh, the gun to your mobile phone or a tablet. You guys were able to change the way the gun thinks, manipulate what it thought about certain features. So can you explain that to me? Yeah, so by, by hacking into the system, we were able to just tell it that, hey, this bullet weighs so much more, or hey, you're not actually attached to a Remington rifle, you're attached to this other type of gun. Um, and you can do that in such a way that the shooter will have no idea that the scope thinks that it's on a different gun or that the bullet you're using is actually much heavier than it really is. So everything will look normal to the shooter, but the computer will just use completely different values when it does the calculations to figure out when to fire and when, when to take the shot. And all of those different values will make it so this bullet, instead of going straight at that, uh, straight at that target, could potentially stray and go somewhere else. Yes, that's correct. By changing the values, you change how the scope behaves and when it decides to, to shoot. And so, yes, you can, you can make the shooter miss the target. What's the most extreme case here? I mean, what could this hack enable? The worst case scenario would be that someone exploits um, some of the vulnerabilities that we have found to make permanent changes on someone's tracking point rifle. So this means that you can be in the middle of nowhere, not even using the wireless network, but if I have made permanent changes to your rifle, it can behave in a completely different way than what you're expecting, and you may never hit your target. While we did manage to get the shooter to miss the target and lock the trigger, um, it's important to know that we cannot get it to fire remotely. You actually reached out to Tracking Point with your research, with your findings. What was their response? So we first contacted Tracking Point about six months ago. Um, and it wasn't until last week that we actually got in touch with them and talked to them about our research. They seem to be positive about the work that we've done um, and interested in fixing the issues that we've identified. 